What's up, everybody? Um, all right, so this is an attempt at another edition of Figs for Friends. I'm here in Nashville doing the impact tapings. And uh, as you've seen on previous vlogs and stuff, I have my gym figure display of all my friends in the business. I'm signed by a lot of them. Some of them I just kind of get and always mean to get signed. And now with this opportunity of being here, I was out at my gym a couple weeks ago and goes, ooh, there's two prime candidates that I can get done that I had not previously got done. So these traveled all the way to Nashville with me. First we have a guy that, uh, I'm actually wrestling today, and a guy that you know means a lot to me in the business. He got me my first job. He's always looked out for me. Mr. Tommy Dreamer. I have a Ring Rage 24.5, which was a bizarre idea that Jax had to 0.5 these things. Uh, so that is the one I'm gonna to attempt to have him sign. Personalized for me to forever be enshrined and hanging on my wall. And the other one, probably my, my current favorite wrestler, Eric Young, who uh, was just on Raw with us. Uh, Got close to him. He's uh, just such a good dude, such a great worker. And uh, yeah, he's gonna be added to my wall of fame. Gonna track these guys down today, maybe talk a little figs and get these signed. And of course, I'm a goddamn professional, the most professional. I brought some paint pens, a couple of color options there too. All right, hang tight, gonna get this done. Here live. Impact Wrestling tapings, yep, you're on. My favorite wrestler, Eric Young. I can't boss. Welcome. We, me, and, me and Broski call this segment Figs for Friends. Figs for Friends. Figs for Friends, yeah. And then we gotta figure out how are we gonna do that. Maybe, ooh, look at this. Look at me, technology guy. Yeah. We can just frame ourselves here. All right, Eli, I told you, you're on my wall of fame. I need mean to get this signed by you. Ooh, old school. But then you, you went and got fired on me. Yeah. And I got fired too. So this is a uh, series two impact wrestling. We're back. We're back. It's great. What can you? This isn't your first figure, so the no. first ones are uh, the Marvel toys. You, yeah. Then you have a variant. Don't fire Eric, yeah. But there's two. There's like a variant. Yeah, there's a King Canada right? one. Yeah. And then the Don't Fire Eric one where yeah. I'm wearing the turtleneck. Yeah, the shirt's kind of yeah. It's got like It a, was a bad shirt. It sold a ton of it. It, it looks like a Andy Kaufman's neck brace. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. So uh, you've been in the business how many years at that point? Oh, I'm going to say that's probably... 10 to 12 years. So that's like a big milestone for you? Massive. Is that cool? Okay, so yeah. like some people, it's weird. Some people are like, yeah, of course, like you just said. And then Massive. some people are like, eh, whatever, it yeah. happened. Yeah, it, the first one, like I can remember being in Walmart and seeing it. That's cool. Very available yeah. at that time. Was it really you buy it and you go up and you're like. No, I didn't buy it. <laughs> I don't think I had any of them actually. We're gonna have to, guys. guys we're gonna have so to work on that. Them all. I know. Right. Which, I, I always think. I, don't think, I think I have. I don't think you need to have, and I love him to death. But Matt Hardy has like a shrine to himself in his home. I don't yeah. think you need to go that far. Well, I know. But I think you should at least have it to appreciate down the line. Actually, it's a funny story. We were at Matt Hardy's house. I've told the story before, but. He had an after party at SmackDown. It was awesome. We went down to his basement. It's just, it's, dude, it, wrestling stuff. The guys had the most merch. Of course. It's insane. He's been a blessed career. And like, we were with Dave Taylor. He was on SmackDown at the time. He was grizzled as they come. And yeah. he's like, my generation, if you did this, they're going to be calling you a mark. He goes, but now I feel like the mark is, I didn't say one thing. And I have grandkids now. And I yep. feel like a dipshit. So. I will feel like that eventually. I'm not going to have grandkids because I'm not going to have kids. Yeah, but still. But. Someone uh, loves you. At some point, I'm going to look back and be like, man, it would be cool to have that. Yes, yeah. I agree. Yeah. All right. All right, uh, let's do it. Uh, so, I mean, I like, so we have another thing on the show. Well, I started doing this throughout my career. My buddies, I get hanging in my gym wall. Yep. Broski, who I literally broke in with. I've known since I was 17. Yep. I said, hey, man, you know, I'm going to hang this on my wall. You sign this for me. Yep. He gives it back to me. So this is Zach Ryder. When I said, Bro, I'm not like a mark at a convention. Like, I wanted like a personal. Oh, he goes, sorry. We do it again. He goes back and he says, "Best wishes, Zach Ryan." I'm like, like, are you ripping me right now? Like, this is not like what sounds, I'm trying to do. He, he finally wrote like a very nice message. So I don't need you to do that in front of me. I'm gonna leave you here. I'm a professional. I got paint pen. You can pick one out, and then I'll uh, we'll, we'll get back on the tape maybe. All right. Cool. All right. Let's do it. All right, folks. We are back, and. Uh, <laughs> 
We had a little issue here. Yeah, it's a, this is very on brand. I have the this, worst handwriting of any human being. And this is going in the trash. That's one. That's a good, that was, I mean, I had three choices. I so picked the green one. We almost had success. <laughs> but then an explosion. Oh my That's God, it's literally end. dripping down. Oh, DX. Well, now this figure is getting opened up and we'll hide it in Gallo's boot. Oh, that thing says that seems yeah. like the next uh, the rainbow bridge. Yeah, the rainbow but, uh, bridge, buddy. okay. So now, yep. Now the real agenda is: I need a new Eric Young figure, mm -hmm. and you need him for your personal collection. So this will be to be continued. The hunt. Luckily, I have Dreamer on this episode too, so there will be some conclusion to this. That's fair. <laughs> okay. See you soon. There we go. The coast is clear. Got Mr. Young. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Head person building his boot. We'll see when we find that. But that's that's where he lives now. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Well, my hair's all messed up. It looks stupid. Mine too. I look like uh, Terry Funk meets uh, Dusty Rhodes. Terry Funk body. No, Terry Funk hair. <laughs> Dusty Rhodes body. I'm but good. I think I think you've been going for that look, so it doesn't really matter, right? I mean, uh, I've been going for something. Anyway, this is Figs for Friends. I'm here with the animator of violence, Tommy Dreamer, somebody who's meant a lot to me in my career, done a lot for me, and uh, I've had this hanging on my gym wall for quite nice. some time, and I would like you to sign it for me. Um, they gave me the crutch. Why do you think they, they were predicting the future and that you are gonna need it? Well, uh, I've had such great things as a, a bedpan and a toilet seat. That was very um, Jack's era, just the random accessory, which like, this, on one hand, if you're a little kid, it's like, oh cool, I got this extra thing to play with, but if you're like an adult collector, like myself now, it's kind of like, well, it's random as hell and doesn't really make any sense. So, uh, you've had a very blessed action figure career. Yeah. Um, probably like upwards of what? Over 10 easily, right? Uh, I don't even know. It's in this Jack's area. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, but I obviously got to ask you about my all time favorite, the ECW figures, and you had a lot to do with that. Uh, yeah. Kind of getting that deal done. What, what do you remember about that? Like, I mean, I know that's a big feather in the hat of ECW, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, uh, <clears throat> the guys who created the original, it was uh, Kevin Sullivan who introduced us to uh, Robbie. Jewish and, Lightning, Robbie Kanoff. Yep, the awesome uh, documentary. And he wanted to put the deal together. And when I watched that documentary, I remember texting you and being like so mad saying like, they sold three billion action figures? <laughs> I think uh, ah. some of those numbers were skewed. I mean, they obviously did well. They were in mass retail. They were in every possible place that carried toys. Well, so. for the... Uh, ECW wrestlers, we received two boxes, which is 48. That's compensation. You're and about. I would say $200 for that $3 million. And some of those guys, like Shane Douglas is gone, and that comes out like there's no way he even. Nah, he's yeah. <laughs> you know what if you were in the company, uh, you got the two boxes. Yeah. Uh, for me, that original Tommy Dreamer, that's your first figure. You're probably what, over 10 years in the biz at the time, yeah. right? So that's a big deal. I know you're obviously a diehard fan growing up, so that's a big deal for you personally, too. Right? Absolutely. Uh, and being part, putting together, helping put together the deal. And, you know, back then, too, I didn't know a lot of it, but it was like, you know, they wanted uh, alter alternative outfits, and I only wore kind of like the same thing. I was mm -hmm. a little bit struggling on that, but it's like, hey, we want to sell the yeah, action figures. That's also, too, where I was quickly learned why we don't say doll over action figures. Yeah, it's a big, big number. This is like, what, 1990? 99 yeah. is, is when those ECW figures dropped. When they came out, it was... Summer, many, many summer, things summer where you felt like you were personally making it in the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, if it wasn't, it was the action figure, it was a video game. Those are things where, man, I'm, I'm doing it. Yeah, you feel like an actual yep. wrestling star. And I, I mean, I didn't have kids, but I remember I saved two for my niece and my nephew. And I, I saved one for myself. It was always like, you know, put up on the mantle. And it was just, it's an accomplishment. I mean, the fact that someone is going to pay for them or their child to play with your action figure is cool. Because I mean, I grew up always playing, they didn't have action figures, you know, I would have my Star Wars figures, wrestling G.I. Joe guys, yeah, doing all yeah. that stuff until the gigantic uh, L. LJNs. LJ. Were you an LJN? Did you play with LJNs? I didn't play with very them. Very close, right? To like your age bracket, yeah, I think. Yeah, I was, uh, what year did this come out? 85, those finally come out. Yeah, I'm like 14, 15, 16. Yeah, so it's kind of not, not the coolest. <laughs> yeah, I had them all. Yeah, you still but, have, yeah. And I used to bring them on spring break as uh, good luck charms. And they worked. Oh, I, uh, I accomplished my goal on spring break with them. And... Uh, 
But yeah, no, it was uh, it, it is it's really cool. And then when you went to WWE, it's next level because of the checks. You I remember Kobe? Coming. Yeah, that part is kind of like you know, I, I mean, obviously as a figure fan and wrestling, I never even thought about that kind of stuff because I'm just such a fan. No. Um, lastly, I guess you're also someone who's very conscious of your merchandise and like you try to. You know, if you have a trading card, you're gonna get it, right? Am I right? Yeah, I know. I know you have pretty much shelf. all my stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I appreciate that because, like, not. A lot, I think the more I tell the boys, like, why don't you do that? I think I'm starting to get more of an understanding. Like, it's not like being a mark or being a mark for yourself. It's just kind of appreciating the things you've accomplished. And I, I know you've always done Dude, that. So, yeah. like my trainer, uh, Johnny Rods, he told me make sure you write everything down that you do after every one of your matches. He goes, because it goes by so quickly. Mm -hmm. And that stuck with me. And I did it. And I still do it. It's like part of my ritual. I literally go home. I write down my matches, where I was, the date. It's, it says the date, my, my, where I was, the opponent, and the finish. It's, and so my, I'm, Zach and I did that originally. And then we went to Deep South. We were having so many matches. We just stopped. And we both like, regret it to this day. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, we have an official record book. And now, like, thank God for the internet. It's a little bit out, but it's not going to be yeah, like no, if you did it that way. Yeah. And because like you forget. Mm -hmm. And literally, like social media, fans will tell me stuff like that. And like I could actually go to a, a record book, my own record book, yeah, cool. and say, like, here's my win-loss record. Yeah. Here's this. Here's that. And then with action figures... Or I, uh, you know, I'm, it's not it's not being a mark for yourself. I just like you said, it's an accomplishment. Like my daughters, I had like all they were called daddy doll, mm -hmm. and they did not understand that they thought all fathers had daddy dolls. And then they, when they would start bringing kids over to the house, they're like, your father has an action yeah, figure, yeah, and yeah. it's like next level. Yeah. And you'll experience that with I'm girls. trying my hardest. My, my daughter will be playing with her, her princess dolls and stuff. I'll be like, what about that? It's <laughs> and like, it's not. It's kind of working, but that hopefully one day. I'll tell you a, a, another quick story. Um, we're in, and I do. I, I collect everything, as you know. I have everything from ECW, mm -hmm. and I would have. I had two boxes still. Every un, unboxed ECW action figure. <clears throat> there, we're cleaning out the garage. I'm doing stuff and all of a sudden my daughter walks out and she's like mommy look what I found mm. and she unboxed a bunch of my figures Ooh. and some of those are tough to replace Beulah looked and she thought I was going to go nuts yeah. and I was just like oh that's cool <laughs> and she no but like Beulah, like same reaction like yeah. Beulah thinks I'm going to go crazy yeah, yeah. and I was like she goes, wow, like, I can't believe that. And I was like, that's my daughter. Like, I think that's the only person who's going to pass yeah. in my book. If it was my yeah. dog, I would have been like, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's only, but like, because you, you know, you feel and even like every time, sweet about it. Yeah. yeah. Every time, and they're called, that's what daddy dolls are. And dude, my daughters now are 16. They still, I got those micro brawlers. Mm -hmm. They asked me for them. Yeah. They have, I have like this weird WWE poker chip. Yes. My daughter's that's, like, we'll you know, Coco Man's only piece of merch. In oh, the really? It's got a golden poker chip, and I bust his balls out the whole time. They all yeah. keep that like in in their room or in their purse, mm -hmm. or even like sometimes when like uh, I've seen it under their pillow. That's awesome. And those are moments where like, you know, you realize. My father's long gone. If I find a picture of my father, like I'll yeah. be like, oh, that's a cool memory. And now it's, you know, you, you live forever. And I have mm -hmm. muscles, I have hair, I don't have hey, a belly. This figure is now going to live forever. Church. On my wall in my gym, and Tommy's going to sign it for me, and I'll uh, check back in with you. I don't like to be there for that because I'd like you to write something nice, and I don't want to be like watching you do it. So stay tuned. All right, back long uh, day. Impact tapings, fun, rewarding, definitely challenging and long. But I'm here. I, uh, this is what I brought to protect my at once two figures. Here is uh, a Lucy, Eric Young. Um, here we go. To Brian, our friendship means more to me than this figure does. Stay hardcore. <laughs> Tommy, a dreamer. Pretty cool, man. All right, thanks for joining us on another edition. Figs, bow, friends. <laughs> At least it's a cool guy. <laughs>